good morning welcome back to another vlog it is tuesday about 10 a.m i have just taught my bar class and i am going home to knoxville today as you can probably tell by the title right now i'm making a protein smoothie kind of as my breakfast and like a post-workout thing i'll do my recipe for a protein smoothie sometime because I always thought it was so complicated to be a smoothie protein gal, but I have like the easiest recipe ever, and I don't know, it's just fun. And I feel like it's really just giving me what I need, because I always work out and then I never grow any muscle because I'm not eating protein. Anyway, that's unimportant. <laughs> quite a few things to do before I leave. I'm hoping to leave by 3, 4 p.m. so I can get back to Knoxville by like 8, 9, I don't know. There's the time change too I have to account for, which I always forget about. But the reason I'm going to Knoxville just in the middle of the week is quite a few reasons, but the biggest one is to bring my frog tank home. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm an avid frog lover woman, and I've had frogs as pets before. <laughs> ah, I'm laughing. Story time. Story time about my frog. So I had aquatic frogs in a frog tank. Um, basically, the frogs live in the tank. They're fully aquatic. They have to stay in the water to live. And um, I've always kept two because they're pals. Back last summer, one of them died, so I had one in there with the snails, and I was gonna get another one for her to be with, but I wanted to give it a little bit to kind of quarantine her, make sure she wasn't sick, she wasn't also gonna die, all of that. One day in October, November, I can't remember exactly when, I could not find her in the tank. And um, after having some friends come over and help me look, we lifted all the rock features and everything, we came to the conclusion she had passed and the snails had eaten her. Um, it was a very sad time for me. She was my longest living frog, I think, in like two, two years or more. Which African dwarf frogs don't have a super long lifespan, especially like in captivity. It was expected, you know? She wasn't probably going to last much longer than two years. So it was emotional, but I understood. Now, fast forward to January. I am coming back from Christmas break, feeling refreshed, cleaning out my closet for the new year. You know, new year, new me, clean out my closet. Um, as I'm pulling some of my drawers out, I see a thing. I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a little bug, like a dead bug. Nope, nope, my frog was in my closet. Yep, my frog was dried up in my closet. I'll put the TikTok in right here, like over top. I'll probably have to mute the sound so you can like watch it while I'm speaking. But this was extremely difficult to process for me for a couple of reasons. Number one, this was my frog, my love. Like I know she only lived two years. It's not the same as a cat or a dog, but she was my love of my life. You know, I get very attached to my frogs that I've had. And so the fact that somehow she had gotten out of the tank and hopped her little legs all the way into my closet. It was a lot to process and it made me feel very unobservant. I went into kind of a panic mode for a while. No, it was a big moment for me. However, having the tank still here with the snails in it is just still very overwhelming for me because every time I look at it, I think of this frog in my closet and I like picture her trying to get out and it's not good for me to have this tank in here and so I'm going to be bringing it home to Knoxville <laughs> and my sisters that are still living at home are going to watch my snails for me because you don't have to do much for snails. Um, they are one of the easiest aquatic pets you could ever have and yes, I love the snails but I think it's healthier for me to not have them here with me. I have a couple of errands to run while I'm at home that I honestly would rather do in Knoxville than in Tuscaloosa. I have some tax papers that were sent to my house and some that are here, so trying to consolidate all that. Lots of things to do. Stay tuned, you'll get to see some fun Tennessee content. I'm gonna go drink this and do all of my things. Hey guys, <laughs> so first of all, I'm using Tiny Mike 
because the sounds of the car are really bad and I'm hoping that this will help by using this instead of just having my microphone right by the air vents. I'm not sure if this will be better audio or not, but anyways, I'm on the road right now and clearly you can see I look like I just like ran a marathon or something. It's because I basically did. So I took a long time with my test, as you know, expected, probable for me. However, um, after the test, I decided to have a little break, a little relax, you know, before I packed up all my stuff, and then I decided to go ahead and check the route for my way home, because on the way home, I always stop at Salsaritas, the exact same taco place ever since I've been living in Alabama, like the five years I've been here, every time I go back to Knoxville, I stop at the same place. Um, upon checking said time, I realized that my, if I left right then, uh, the taco place would be closing in 20 minutes when I arrived. Like I was going to be arriving at 8.40 and the taco place closes at 9 p.m. And so all of a sudden I was sent into a frenzy. I had to take everything to the car, first of all. Second of all, do all of my dishes and then like wipe the sink down. Um, and the biggest piece of all, the frog tank. So, or I guess the snail tank now, but when I travel with the tank, I can't carry it full of water. You have to empty that whole thing of water, carry the tank out to the car, and let me just show you because I'm at a stoplight. So, as you just saw, the tank is back there and buckled in. The um, big furniture pieces in the back, thrown there. I was running. I was zooming, sprinting, running. There's like snail water on my floor, which is disgusting. And like, I obviously dabbed it up, but I have carpet. Like I'm gonna have to clean that when I get back. I have never done anything so fast in my entire life because if I did not leave in the next 20 minutes, there's no way I was going to get tacos. Any logical person would have either, number one, decided now is not the time to bring the tank home. Let's just go, leave right now, bring all this stuff in one trip leave the tank, get the tacos. Or two, let's just skip the tacos, get everything together like we need to, and get home without the tacos. Nope, not me, not me. And now I feel like I've had like a heat stroke. So I did bring a popsicle into the car. I'm going to go eat that now. My current ETA to the taco place is 9.05 and it closes at nine. So I'm scared that I'm still not going to get my tacos after all of this hard work. I don't know what possessed me to just act like that. Sometimes my fixations make me go crazy. Normally I have to wear gloves when I'm anywhere near that water. I can't, I have to like take my time. I can't get it on anything. I can't touch anything without washing my hands. But something just came over me and I'm feeling unwell. This is my favorite color popsicle, and I thought I was out of my favorite color. You know when you go in, you buy a multi-pack of popsicles, or anything really, and you reach in and you just don't know which one you grabbed? This is my favorite flavor. Like, I did not expect this at all, so that, hmm, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be great. The sky is beautiful. My ETA is still five minutes after closing time for tacos, but I have high hopes. I'm gonna keep pushing on because I believe in myself that I will get the tacos. That was a wild ride. I spent the whole time like pushing it just to the right speed where I wasn't like flying over the speed limit but also was trying to shave off some minutes. I barely made it. I got my tacos. That place is so special to me because it's not in Tuscaloosa. Nowhere near Tuscaloosa. Like this is the closest one to Tuscaloosa. I'm allergic to corn if you didn't know. And so it's hard to find Mexican that I can eat and this is literally the only place I found. Um, they have some in Knoxville too and um, different places in Tennessee but none in Alabama so I only get Mexican when I am driving home. So very exciting, so happy, gonna eat it, drive the rest of the way, about an hour and a half left. So. Inspirational quotes with Mary I don't exactly think 
Therefore, I am exactly. Get ready? You can't hit rock bottom if you already live there. Call me an escalator because I always let people down. Hot pocket sandwiches, aquarium gravel, super crunchy. Hola, soy Dora. Can you help me find my mental stability? Oh, uh, yeah, only dead fish go with the flow. Think about it. Ponder it. Write a book about it. Face your fears. Run with scissors. Sleep is for the weak. Don't forget where you belong. Call me 1929, because I'm in a Great Depression. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Politics, politics, religion, politics. That's nice. That's nice. almost 6 p.m. so I've been popping around Knoxville the whole day so after the morning after doing some stuff at home I went to the mall with one of my friends because I had to do some returns but it was a really last minute trip so I was kind of like hey if anyone wants to see me I'd love to see you but I understand if everyone's busy and she's off work because she starts a new job next week so that was fun so I got all my returns done I only bought a few things, but they were all business casual for work, so that was good. I actually got stopped. You'll see somewhere in the clips. Hey guys, so I got my hair done by a lady in the mall. Um, she wouldn't let me go without it, so you can see just how much less frizzy it is according to her. So my hair is so dry, um, so it's really nice. But... This one lady would not let me go without fixing, like, trying this product on my hair. So, you can see, I mean, yeah, my hair's frizzy, I know. I normally wear it naturally curly, but she was just not understanding. I'm looking at my list now of things that I needed to get done while I was here, and I think I've done most of them. All except for one of my friends I still have to see, which I'm going to hang out with her a little bit later in the evening. Right now I am working on, my sister uh, is an artist and she painted this amazing National Parks picture and we were, it's like huge, I'll show it to you in just a second, I'll go in her room and sneak in, she put it on the vlog, but it was up to me to capture this so we can turn it into prints, so I took a bunch of photos of it and I'm currently trying to like edit together these different sections so that um, it's all like one photo but still in good detail so that is what i'm working on right now and then i'm gonna go hang out with my friend and finish all my tasks and go to bed good morning i know this lighting is super weird but i am doing my last few things i need to get together before i go back to tuscaloosa i woke up later than expected i'm not feeling great it just doesn't feel like a good day today i don't know how to explain it the last thing I have to do is I'm changing out the water on my tank before I leave so that the snails will be all happy and whatever. I'll show you the snails. Here. Here they are. Hey guys. Um, so I'm changing out their water and then I'm going to be driving back to Tuscaloosa. I'm not going to leave as early as I wanted. Clearly, I have a concert tonight in Birmingham, which I now think I'm going to be driving to, which I did not want to do. It's going to be okay. I'm going to get back to Tuscaloosa. I'm going to get all the homework done that's due tonight. <laughs> I'm going to go to the concert, and we're all going to have fun. 
Sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday also. I was either really focused on getting the tasks done that I had to do, or when I was with my friends, really focused on spending that time with them because I don't get to see them very much, like only over Christmas break and summer break. I'm not used to coming home in the middle of the semester. That just doesn't happen for me. This is a weird occurrence and it feels really weird. Before anyone comes at me for just pouring straight tap water into this tank, that is not all I do, I promise. I have all these different little chemical things. I've been keeping a tank for years. I promise you, I know what I'm doing. I've got a filter in here. I've got a heater in here. I've got everything you could ever hope to have for some little guys. Snack time! <laughs> out here. Hey guys, so I have not vlogged most of today again. This is a really sucky vlog, although I feel like every time I get on, I chat a good bit. But I'm about to go to the concert. Here's my outfit. Um, it's one of the worst outfits I've ever put together, I think. But I did not have much time to do it. I still haven't finished my assignment, but you know, some days are just overwhelming. And I'm thankful that I have so many things to do because I know I won't always have so many things to do. But right now I just really wish there were none of them. There were no things to do. And I could just clean my apartment because I haven't even gotten to unpack. I ran and dropped my bags on the floor and I've been working since. But that's okay. I will probably take a few clips at the concert and then I will end this vlog later tonight because I feel like I have enough content. <laughs> You can come after. I was that. I was in my hands mentally planning that. Oh, this is my vlog. Now, I gotta say, some people just do not have concert etiquette these days. I was just really frustrated by some of the other concert goers. I'm not gonna go on a rant about it. It's okay. It was fine. Um, I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I feel like I've talked a whole lot in this vlog, so if you made it this far, congratulations. I am going to eat a snack, take a little shower, finish an assignment, and go to sleep. It is 12.30 right now and I'm hoping to be asleep by two so I can wake up at eight and do even more work. Thanks for watching. Bye!